Anthony Davis and the Pels are back home, facing the team that AD lit up for 59 points last year. It's the Detroit Pistons in town. It's surprising, though. The Pelicans are 25th in the league, as AD on the take against Lower Pretty Floater. Pretty runner. We're used to that from AD. He has nine straight games where he's in double figures, rebounding the basketball, and in those same nine, eight of them, he has double doubles. So. He's going to get the, to the glass. Lohr, he really worked on his range. It'll count if it goes. Instead, free throws for A.D. Reggie Jackson. He'll rise over him. Man, no close. And, and when I say no close, didn't have a place to land, did he? No, there's five fouls already. Got Drummond out of position and on the reverse. A.D. all over it early. He's six for six at the free throw line. That's his second bucket of the game, and he's already into double figures. Brings energy and, and great basketball IQ. AD shot down. He's on his way up and blast him home. Tough angle. Yeah, they wanted the foul. They won't get it. And again, right by John Lord. I, I think I like the matchup. Anthony's got 14. And go to it. Continue to go to it. Because now here's where here's where the rest of the players eat. You go to that, they go double team. He kicks it out, wide open shot. First order of business, stop the basketball. Mm -hmm. It'll be Anthony Davis, counts if it goes. Instead, more free throws. Boy, I love the attack. The two man game. Man, it'll count if it goes. Instead, free throws. Baines bit on that AD on the run out by Drummond. Little runner. I love it when he doesn't settle. 10 point game, and AD's got 20. Something about the Pistons brings out. Good pass. You got to make them create those turnovers. AD's putting on a show, by the way. 22 on eight shots for Anthony Davis. Amazing. Five boards. AD in 15 minutes of play of six of eight from the field. 10 of 10 at the stripe. Reggie Jackson up against John Lohr. It's his night. AD's got 24 on nine shots. Seven of nine. That stops an 11 to two run. For the Pistons. Shooting percentages are kind of even uh, going into this, this break with only a three point lead. Where do you see uh, some advantages? For Good setup. AD. Hollis Thompson, presence of mind with his body kind of falling forward. Drew and AD, both the hot hands. And how about the take? Drew Holiday again. Double fingers alone here in the third. AD, there's your block and numbers out. AD on the trail with Drew. Inside out. Cunningham again. Got it. Timeout. Stan Van Gundy. Each one more great look. Got it. This is a really good story developing for the Nuggets. Anthony hammers it. Not a bad story developing here with 220 to play either. 103 84. It's counts if it goes and it will. Well, there's no question. We're looking to the face of the franchise, and it's been that way since he arrived. That's not in doubt. I wasn't sure that he had enough with the bump to still get there, and he had plenty. And eight out of nine overall for the Pistons. Thanks, Joel. Here with Anthony Davis. AD, congratulations. This one was one that you were in control of seemingly from the beginning. How did this team find a rhythm? Uh, we just came out and competed. Um, we know that they played last night and when it's overtime, so that's always tough. Um, and they probably got here early in the morning. So we just wanted to come out and, and, and run. You know, we pushed the pace. You know, we pushed the ball up the floor and got some easy buckets. And guys made shots tonight. So uh, this is a well-deserved win by everybody. Uh, team win, and we definitely needed it. You're such a leader. You talked about that this morning after shoot around. Uh, this team was really able to clean up the turnovers in the second half that plagued you in the first. What was different? What changed? Uh, we just took care of the basketball. Um, you know, when we don't turn the ball over, it's easier for us to get in our sets and, and make some offense out of our possessions. But you know, when we turn, turn it over, um, it's tough to defend. And you know, every time we turned it over tonight, they scored on it. So we just wanted to make sure that we limit our turnovers, and we did that in the second half. A lot of guys stepped up tonight, including Lexi Agenza. Great game for him. What did you see out of him this evening on the court? Uh, he played some big minutes for us. Um, you know, true professional coming in, stay ready, 
You know, even though he wasn't playing before, he came in and, you know, work every day uh, and practice, shoot around, you know, come in on off days and, and put, a, put in shots. So, you know, for him to come out and do what he did tonight was amazing. Um, and that's what we need from him. You know, we got a lot of professionals on the team with guys who stay ready. So anytime your, your number is called, you got to be ready, and he was tonight. Some growing pains for Drew lately. He's had a few off games, but you were one of the main ones who said, hey, don't worry about Drew. He's going to be fine. And he looked like the old Drew tonight out there. You, you were confident he would do this the whole way through. Yeah, I mean, I know Drew. Um, he's not going to continue to have bad games. And before the game, you know, Coach put some clips up of Drew actually being Drew. And it said Drew being Drew. It was like four clips. And, um, you know, we just need him to just be aggressive. He was tonight, even in the first play, you know, he came out and tried to jump and miss. I was fine with that because he came out and been, it was being aggressive. So, you know, we just need him to continue to do what he's been doing. And, you know, tonight definitely helped him and hopefully it carried over. Absolutely. And for you, a huge congratulations. I don't know if you realize you joined the 7,000 club tonight. You scored your 7,000th oh. point. Uh, you're the eighth youngest player in NBA history to do that, joining names like LeBron and Kobe. What does that mean to you to be in that group? Oh, I mean a lot. You know, uh, Especially the guys you name right now, LeBron and Kobe, you know, Hall of Famers, um, legends, icons of the game. And um, to be in that group is definitely amazing. Um, just putting a lot of hard work to come out and help this team uh, in the summertime. And, you know, I just go out here and just, just play my hardest. You know, even some guys on the bench and I was like, man, you got patience, so and like, you young. You know what I mean? And, you know, I just go out there and just play. You know, I love the game of basketball. When I'm out here, I'm having fun. So um, that means a lot, though. Um, you know, I'm lost for words. I, I didn't know that. So, uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate my teammates you know, who, who definitely helped me get to that milestone. Um, but it's not the end. No, we're going to keep going. We love it. Enjoy this one. Congratulations. Thank you.